Ron back here at the Ron's YouTube channel here where we cover um, a lot of drone gear and today we, we do have a drone video coming up. We got the, um, the DJI uh, Mavic 3 drone here in our little hard case here. Here's the, here's the Mavic uh, 3 in the flesh. Uh, but today we're going to do a little something different with it here. Instead of flying with the, um, uh, either the, uh, standard, um, the standard DJI remote, the, uh, uh, RC1, RM1, I can't keep up with these names, you know, just the standard one with no screen, and not even the RC Pro, we're going to, um, fly with, uh, and I got some extra packing here because I got a smaller controller here. I had the new, um, uh, DJI RC, the one that comes with the, um, Mini 3 Pro drone and uh, recently got a firmware update where it allows it to fly. I would say it, it allows you to connect the uh, DJRC to the Mavic 3 now. And uh, I have uh, previously connected the devices at, at, at home where I am now on the desktop to see if they connect and all the functions worked as far as the gimbal and things like that changes. And it worked perfectly, but this will be the first time I've actually, um, you know, used that combination. And a test flight in the great outdoors and if you're wondering what happened to the video why i am here in the office now and not uh, out at the beach um my uh my b-roll camera stopped recording in the middle of the film in that segment and uh, of course it's uh, all user error on my part i didn't i was using the dji pocket 2 with a little wireless microphone and uh, I started recording and everything was going fine, but I, I forgot to listen to one of my own things I preach. I did not reformat the memory card before uh, starting the recording to clear out, you know, anything that was on there, you know, previous recordings and photos that may have been taking up the memory of the card and even to eliminate any glitches that may have uh, occurred or whatever. Uh, so I did not for reformat and of course I got stung by that. Uh, my memory card filled up after only about two minutes of filming and you know the first minute was just me just turning the thing on and moving things around on the uh on the picnic table there it wasn't even like i wasn't even talking yet so uh completely my fault but anyhow so we're going to complete some of the uh you know the that that, that part of what i was saying <clears throat> sorry i got a frog in my throat every time i got talking in these videos i <clears throat> i get that darn frog but um we're going to, you know, uh, wrap it up real fast, fast here. We're going to go to the screen recording of my test flight uh, of the Mavic 3. And you're going to want to stay around with this. this is, you know, you're, some some stuff happened here and, you know, uh, that you're probably going to want to see. Uh, I'm giving you a little uh, preview from the future here, Ron. You know, back back from the future here. Tell, know, already know what happened at this point. But, um, yeah, you know. Uh, again, we're, we're set up here to, to take off in just a moment or two. We're going to run a screen recording on the flight, and we're basically going to just test, you know, kind of the basic functions of the DJRC and how well it connects, uh, you know, with, with the uh, Mavic 3 and see if you can perform all the same functions you can do with the, uh, the DJRC Pro, which is my daily driver for the Mavic 3. It also functions with the little D DJI rn1 or rc1 or whatever they call the basic controller that doesn't have the screen and um that, that's the controller that comes with the drone but i i i quickly got the um you know the the djrc pro so i hardly ever flew with a regular controller or not drone but anyhow um just some parameters here um you know, I, I you know I wanted to get up quick because I'm at the you know uh, I'm at the beach here. It's the middle of summer. Uh, I, I got there early, but you know, just in a short amount of time, the crowd, the noise, people start showing up. So I wanted to just run through this quick as I can. So I did not put an ND filter. I think I had a polarizer filter in there from the last time I flew, but no ND. So the shutter speed is going to be high. So don't worry about the shutter speed. I, I I didn't you know I hit auto. Didn't put an ND filter on purpose, trying to save time because you know the Mavic 3 it's a little hard to get that thing on there or whatever and you, you it seems like you wait five minutes by the time you get the get your filter case out pick the filter you want put it on put the other filter that's five minutes gone so we didn't want to do that and also uh you know uh if it's any kind of gimbal tilt in there I did not re I did not recalibrate the gimbal before the flight I may have not even recalibrated the gimbal since the last time I got either firmware or an app update or a controller update or whatever. So uh, don't worry about the horizon either. I did not. I did not 
I haven't calibrated for a while. I wasn't testing Horizon. This this isn't, and I and I did record the video, but this is what I call junk video. Uh, the screen recording is the important thing here. Uh, the video I shot, I'll probably just throw it away. I fly to same location all the time. I got millions of pieces of footage of that location, unless something happens, like the shark jumps out of the water or something. You know that, that that's being thrown away. So I, I didn't worry about you know shutter speed, Horizon video quality. Just, 4K 30 Dr. Auto. Basically, just want to see how the drone worked with the, uh, you know, with the control because a lot of people, you know, they would love this, you know, they, they want a smart, uh, smart controller for their DJI, uh, I mean, DJI Mavic 3, but they don't want to pay the $1,200 the RC Pro calls. And I, I don't blame them. So um, they were down at the uh, $309 DJI RC controller now works with the Mavic 3. That would be an affordable option to get a control with a built-in screen for your you know Mavic 3 and save uh basically uh what uh by by my math 800 800 dollars yeah uh eight, yeah 900 dollars you know all, all for whatever so tremendous savings so uh, let's see if it actually works well enough with the Mavic 3 to see if that is a viable option to purchase the DJI RC over the RC Pro so um you know let's get back to the uh the, the video at the beach here and, and and you know slug along and sorry for this you know interruption here get all my fault forgot to reformat the memory card ran out of space it happens so uh okay see you back okay folks here we go we're going to test the um mavic 3 uh with the uh dji rc the uh the remote that comes with the um Mini 3 Pro. So we're going to, you were going to, we got a screen recording going on already, obviously, and we're going to try to connect the Wi Fi here. Um, you, sometimes it's a little tricky to get this to hook up with your phone's uh, hotspot here, but uh, so we definitely want to get that screen recording going here. And you can see on the left end of the notification, we are currently screen recording, and it's even giving you like a little timer there. So that, that's, that's always good, but uh, I, I'm going to play my phone a little bit here, but I don't. You know, I may or may not get Wi-Fi. We don't really need the maps at this point because uh, I'm not going to go that far. I'm in a familiar area, so I don't really need to, you know, uh, know what's here. I know what's here by heart. I've flown this location many times before. So, um, yeah, so we're, we're going to take off here in a few seconds. We can't get the, uh, you know, get the Wi-Fi in. Uh, anxious to get started here. You want to see how this... Uh, DJRC, uh, you know, remote works with the Mavic 3. I've, I've tried it out in the house before. It seems to be fully functional, but I do want to try it out in the field, you know, give it a good field test uh, and see how it performs out here because it is a good alternative to, buy, to buying the um, DJI uh, uh, RC Pro, which is, you know, uh, $1,200 compared to $309. So uh, if that's if it works uh, uh, well. I mean, obviously it probably won't work as well. As a device that's uh, almost, um, you know, uh, three or four times the cost, but um, you know, uh, if it if it you know has a, I don't know you know eighty ninety percent of the functionality at um, at that lower cost. I mean, we do know that the um, you know uh, the DJI RC only has seven hundred nits, where the um, RC Pro has a thousand nits, so it will be a brighter screen, of course, here. So. Uh, we're gonna edit the video here. Okay, now we're gonna link up the uh, the DJRC by using the connection guide here. Uh, in this guide, you chose choose the drone you want to uh, link it with the Mavic Three in this case. Now we, you get this firmware version inconsistent every time you switch a controller, and it says firmware updating, but we're not even connected to the Wi-Fi, so it's not updating anything. It just says this every time. I think the firmware is already on there and it has the uh, move so now it wants us to relink here. So how we relink is we you know we go to this window here with the pair. We hit the you know the the pair. Well first we have to hold the power button down for four seconds on the drone, and then uh, then we'll start the uh, pairing process here. So there it goes, and it's got a little countdown there, right there. You see it 56, 55 while it pairs up. Because uh, I last flew this uh, controller with the Mini 3 Pro. So, okay, it looks like it's something's happening here. There we go. We got our live FP feed, feed there. You get this every time here. Uh, I, I just hit cancel because I don't want to bind it with this, with this uh, uh, drone here. Bind it means that's, uh, you know, like if you have a, 
accent and you have to do a claim through your care refresh it only is good for the drone you know with the drone with the control it's bound with you know not not linked with i'm i'm you know using the, making a link word up here bound means more like a, a legal term for your uh care refresh so uh anyhow so you just have to as you see that thing every single time you change you change the controller so okay well, we're gonna get ready to take off here in a second we're just trying to get our satellites in here we have 19 satellites so we're good to go now i did not hear it say the the home point lock but i was doing so much jabber jaw and that i probably talked over the home point lock here so but you can see the radar map there i mean it's the drone sitting right on top of me i'm the drone is the you know the blue thing it kind of looks like a, a paper airplane and the blue dot is is me so um uh, it definitely you know uh i'm pretty sure it knows where i am and um, I believe you can only uh, refresh your home point at this point when you're actually in the air and not on the ground. So that's a good power tip for, for many folks, um, that you cannot uh, refresh the home point on, on the ground. So um, let's see here. Let's get going. Okay, let's look around here and see if we can find the, uh, where you change your home point. Uh, there you go. Update home point. And see, I'm clicking on it, and it says right there, you can only use this when aircraft is in flight. So we did confirm that you cannot update home point while the drone's on the ground. So that's that's a good tip for you all to know. And again, if, you, if you're if you ever not sure whether you heard the drone say the home point was locked during the uh, satellite acquisition period, uh, you know, just make sure that, uh, you know, you hit the home point again as soon as you lift the drone in the air before you actually move. So you do establish yourself as the home point. So that's that's Ron's safety tip of the day here. So okay, we can we can get ready to take off now. Um, everything looks good here. We're in a you know cl class G uh, airspace here, and there are no flight restrictions today at, at whatsoever. Wind conditions, weather is good today. Uh, you know the beach is pretty much empty at this point. Maybe a few dog walkers down there, but uh, you know we're in good shape as far as not having. You know, people in beach, it's early in the morning. It's just, you know, really after 7 a.m. So, uh, you know, everybody's still still in, still in bed here. So let's, let's get this bird in the air. And uh, there you get that warning that uh, the DJRC turns off Wi-Fi and Bluetooth uh, as soon as you take the drone off. So uh, supposedly I'll cut down on, uh, you know, range and, and, and signal issues, um, you know, that would be a tribute to... Uh, to Wi-Fi, and also it helps if you're going to uh, do the um, quick transfer uh, of the contents of your, you know your memory card or your in, in onboard storage to your a device such as your phone or a tablet. You do not have to you know, physically hook them up using the quick transfer process. So you so you do have to turn Wi-Fi off for that if it is on for any reason. You know, like if you re-enable it again. Okay, so let's just kind of get cruising here. And uh, so far, everything looks good. It, it, it seems to handle just like, you know, the RC Pro or the, the other DJI RC, the N1 does. Play with a gimbal here. All looks good here. Uh, we'll see if anybody's on this beach. I do not see a soul out there, so we're kind of safe to fly out. We're going to fly out to the, you know, over the water's edge here where, you know, nobody tends to be, especially this time of day. Um, you know, all the beach walkers are a little bit you know, further in. So, okay, you see the waves here. Now, we're not going to fly this direction because the sun's down there, and we're going to have overexposure issues. Um, you know, you can see the glare in the water right there. So we will fly with the sun at the back of the drone, so we'll get a, a better exposure. And, folks, um, I'm, you know, uh, this is a quick flight to test the compatibility with the controller. I do not have an ND filter on today. Um you know, uh, so my shutter speed's going to be really high. I'm just going to shoot auto because I'm not going to be able to get the shutter down like I should. Uh, let me see if I can play with the EV here. Maybe bump it down a little bit. Now, that says, gives me a minus three, so I, I guess I should go back to the, the where it was before. But I probably, I want it a little bit darker here. So, and uh, don't worry about the horizon either. I have not calibrated the uh, gimbal. Um, you know, before this flight, I may have not even cal calibrated the gimbal since the last firmware or app update. So, um, again, you know, 
pay no attention to the horizon. I, I even, I'm not testing the horizon here. I, di I didn't do any calibration to the compass recently. So um, this is all about how the drone works with the, uh, you know, with the new controller here. So, okay, let's take off down the beach here. See if we can get any range. Because a lot of people report that, uh, you know, they get breakup and, and stuttering on the screen and disconnects, you know, when they use the, uh, DJI RC with the Mavic 3. So let's see if we have anything like that. I mean, so far it is handling beautifully. The feed is good on my FPV screen. So, um, you know, let's stop here and uh, just get our bearings here. Make sure there's nobody down there. So, um, do some adjustments here. So everything looks pretty good at this point. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way the controller is operating you know so far so yeah let's start up again here yeah, cruising down the beach here kind of towards the south and the west here towards the town of Longport we started out in my town Margate and we're going down to the next town Longport Longport the best port so oh, I just saw a little glitch there at about 1900. We saw oh oh, oh another little another little uh oh a weak signal adjust antennas, the RC signal lost at only 2076 and and by 19 we had a little screen freeze. So um, that is disappointing. I get much better range when I use the uh, DJI DJI RC Pro, which of course I believe has four antennas where uh, and and two of them are external. Uh, compared with the DJI RC, which only has two internal antennas, and people say they're really small in there. So the drone, you know, the drone is doing exactly what it should do with the signal loss. It's returning to home, and I, and I made a big point of establishing a proper home point, which you know, which was done. And of course, the drone is coming right back to me on a, on a straight line. But okay, I'm going to stop that return to home. I've regained control has got far, far enough here but maybe we weren't flying high enough the last time uh oh it won't let me go higher than 233 i probably have that uh you know as a max setting you know someplace in the safety menu so i will probably need to go in and up that higher for some reason i kept it low i i don't re recall why but uh there must have been a good reason right folks so we're going to aim it back the direction here get it get the sun out of the camera here and as you see here we got a solid connection so let's go in and adjust this um the flight range here uh again it, it was governors they used to say I had a governor on it keeping it at 233 there's altitude auto return to home altitude uh let's see here is it here gimbal calibration not you know i don't think it is under control i think it is in safety i must have just spun by too fast here there it is. Back salad too. Let's get that up to um, you know, they're three ninety six. We're just shot just shy of legal. Legal's under four hundred feet, so we're 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 close to four hundred feet, but we are legal at three ninety six. And let's bump that return automatic return home altitude up because we do have a couple tall buildings around here, a couple of the the high rise condos. So this is the only place in Margate that has any height to it, so we will you know, we will be able to fly over those things if need be with our height set there, you know, well about 300 further. Return to home, and if I have to take command myself, I can go up to 396. And, of course, I'm not flying in sport mode, so you see I'm in normal mode. So I, I do have uh, the three, kind of the 360 obstacle avoidance enabled and bypass. I, you know, I, I, don't, I didn't check to see if I have bypass enabled or I'm just in regular obstacle avoidance but either way it will not fly into those big buildings even if the the return home brings that direction it will either move up or move around them so um here we go now let's let's go down we're going to get up to more 290 now so probably if we get a little bit more height uh this will uh, get us a little bit you know hopefully a lot more range here and i do have the you know you know antennas on the controller pointed directly at the drone and i have a clear kind of line of sight so um i can see it the controller can see it's so, okay we've already gone much further than we did last time we're 500 um 600 feet further than last time of course we are you know much higher this time probably double our height and we're going to even go higher as we get out here so 
uh, we're really getting high. We're at over at 30, almost 3,200 feet, but we're at almost 350 feet high. Uh oh, uh oh, so, uh, something. Uh, you know, we had the same thing there. We had like a little glitch, screen froze, and now we're in return to home. But I have no idea why that finding thing came up there. But you can see how much higher we are now, 356. So um, that's a little bit better here, uh, uh, 3,600. But that is just a fraction of what you can get when you use the DJI RC Pro. So, uh, yeah, what I'm seeing here is um, that maybe this isn't the good alternative to the RC Pro that I and many other people thought it was. Now, let me do give you the, uh, I do want to be um, fair here and say that, you know, this, this is just my only test with this. Um, if I went to a different area on a different day, you know, uh, the results could vary. Um, you know, this is, you know, your range is very tied into location, uh, you know, interference and stuff, um, you know, Wi-Fi hot, hot points and things like that. So, um, yeah, this, you know, this is just the first test. I will test this uh, more at, a, at different locations, maybe different times of day, different uh, atmospheric conditions. So, uh, this, you know, this is no way that, uh, I'm no way in implying that, this will be your experience if you test the um, Mavic 3 with the, uh, RC, the DJI RC. Your, your results can vary, as they say. So, but this is my experience. You're seeing on the screen here. Um, again, I um, you know doing, doing everything I can uh, you know, in this test. I aim the, the controller directly at the drone. Um, you know, made sure I had nothing between me, you and the drone. So. Um, and the results are what they are. I mean, whether you know you you like them or you don't like them, this is this is my experience. All I can do is show you what um, you know what I experienced during this uh, flight here. Um, so we're gonna you know bring it back now here. Um, we're kind of done with the range stuff here. I mean, again, maybe if we'd have flew the other direction, we'd have got different results too. Um, you just never know. But uh, I'm gonna kind of. And the testing for today because I don't want to fly in that because I, I had no line of sight flying the other way because that sun's glaring in my eyes so I don't want to I don't want to you know do a flight where I can't keep my uh, you know my eyes on it the whole time because of that terrible sun glare here so we're going to come back maybe we'll come down and you see that thing uh, in the middle there that's Lucy the elephant but she's all wrapped up uh, she's going through a lot of rehab and repair this summer they've got her all you know. Um, canvas off there, uh, you know, protected it, protected her while they got her opened up, fixing the wood and, you know, the joints and, and so on, uh, you know, all, all the repairs they're doing do quite an extensive repair. So, yeah, this is her current state. Um, there was a, early in the summer, they didn't say there was a possibility that she would be open by the middle of August, so I don't know if that timeline is still accurate or not, but let's try to get a photo, and of course, um, you know, the, the, we don't have our zoom and photo uh, mode there, so we're looking at, that's where we kind of actually are, but we can go to our good, uh, that, that, that tele camera, and now we're zoomed in too tight here. You know, I kind of want to see the whole thing and not just one one part there. You can see the guys working, going up the scaffolding on the left-hand side. The one guy's got a, like a lime green t-shirt on, and the guy's got an orange on there. There's another guy walking around the ground here, so, you know, this, you know, this really is a, you know, kind of a, you know, uh, you can really see what's going on with this camera. I mean, I, you know, these guys are, you know, uh, working, working for somebody. I mean, I, I don't think I'm violating any privacy. The, Lucy's a public, public entity, kind of public property. And these guys are, you know, working on a public property. So, um, anyhow, I'm not, I just happen to see them. I'm not particularly looking at them. But anyhow, let's, let's get this thing. And, you know, it's hard to move when you're zoomed in like this. It's like having a pair of binoculars and you're looking for something. It's hard to find what you're looking for when you're, you're so zoomed in like this. So, okay, that looks about good here. And then we're going to use that, um, you know, we're going to tap the focus here and get kind of get a sharp image. Now, I did not tap the focus when I was taking that video in the beach. So if it doesn't look razor sharp, that is my fault because I did not tap tap the focus on infinity as I was flying down the beach there. So again, you know, don't judge this video, you know, don't for the quality. Don't again the shutter was 
you know, off the charts high because I didn't put an ND filter on. I didn't calibrate the, the gimbal. Um, I didn't tap the focus. So again, this isn't review of the video quality of the drone whatsoever. I did not, outside of hitting the auto button, I did nothing to, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, worry about to improve the, the, the video uh, quality uh, uh, during this flight because uh, I'm probably just going to, you know, throw this video out. I hit the record button at times, but I mean, you know, I, I flew here, this place here countless times or whatever, so I got, I got all sorts of video in the can from this location video and still. So again, I, you know, nothing today, um, you know, is probably going to be saved. But anyhow, um, yeah, so that's kind of it on this flight here. Um, I, you know, I kind of found out, you know, what I need to know that uh, the... DJI RC controller works great with the Mavic 3 until you take it out a little bit. You know, uh, up close work, it's fine. You know, uh, it seemed great. All the buttons functioned properly. Um, it handled well. Um, it seemed like I could do anything I wanted to until I got to about, um, you know, 2,000 feet the first time. And that's because I was kind of on the low side, you know, maybe under 150 feet. Um, you know, maybe if I had raised it to my full 396 Maybe I could have even go up other than um, what I get about 36, 36 and change. So I probably could have gone further. But um, yeah, so disappointing results in the range. But as I said before, this is just the first test. The next time I could go out in a different location, uh, you know, different weather conditions, uh, different satellite, you know, uh, positions or whatever, I could, you know, do better. You know, I could do better. I could do worse. You know, um, you, you, you know, but you need to keep testing. But uh, so let me, if you folks out there have tested it, let me know your results uh, with, with, with the uh, Mavic 3 paired up with the DJI RC. Uh, whether your range was good, better than mine, worse than mine, if you had other issues happen that you didn't see. So let's bring the drone in and, uh, you know, wrap this video up here, folks. So, um, yeah, um, we will uh, definitely... See you on the next video, folks. Hello. Um, just a little supplement to the uh, video here uh, from back at the um, back in the studio here. Um, the controller uh, on the um, left here was that's the DJI RC. This is the one I was using uh, today to fly the Mavic Three. Uh, you know, that you saw in, that you will see in the video. I think I'm you know. Again, I'm Ron coming from you know back from the future here. This is the one I use in the video you're about to see. And this is the DJI RC Pro. This is the one I normally fly the Mavic 3 with. This did not come with the Mavic 3, at least not in the standard kit. It, didn't, it only came with the drone in the sitting kit, but uh, you could buy it as an extra. Now, this one's like 1200 and this one's only 309 So uh, there are some advantages to this one. This one has a thousand nit screen on it, uh, where this one only has 700 nits. So this has a brighter screen and this has more antennas on it. Uh, I think it has four antennas versus this, the two antennas. And the antennas here are just baked inside there. And somebody said, claims to take it apart and says they're really small in there. I don't know, that's just, you know, hearsay. And this one, of course, has real antennas on it here that, that, that fold out whatever so you get you know more uh you know more directional and all that so um yeah this is uh you know this is weighs i don't know seems like more than twice as much as this one so this is you know you know you get what you pay for you know uh, uh this is you know a much beefier uh, uh controller and i think it even has you know more more ports down there i think it uh, even has the hdmi out which a lot of people want so um yeah, that, that I just want to show you the difference between two controllers, the prices, and some of the key uh, specs. Now, in this one, you know, I'm going to turn them on. This one, you know, you has apps installed, like has Firefox on here. You can go on the internet and whatever, but this one has none of that. It just comes in that basic unit you know, screen where you see some of the stuff like screen recording and Wi-Fi and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, it's just kind of a short little synopsis of, you know, the, the different uh, smart controllers, the ones with screens that come that, that are available now from DJI. And of course, they have an older smart controller, which I believe is discontinued at this point, um, that came out around the same time the uh, Mavic 2 uh, series of drones did. Okay, well, back to your regularly scheduled programming now.